government to Project Swatch, this is SRP. Now today I'm going to be talking about some statements made by Prime Minister Andrew Wallace. And we said this is not a Jamaica Observer. The title of the article is Government Targeting Big Fish in Illegal Gun Trade. Listen to this part. In bold it says, the government has been building airtight cases designed to catch the masterminds in the illegal importation of firearms, according to the Prime Minister. Listen up now, this is a direct quote from him. Too many legal guns are coming through our legal ports. Right? We know the people who are doing it. Yes, write that statement down. We know. Pause this up. Yeah, yeah, Patreon to write that down. Right. Write it down on a piece of paper. Write it down on your tablet, on your phone. If you have to get one stone, like from Bible days, and carve it tonight. Carve it tonight. You hear that? The Prime Minister say, We know the people who are doing it. Not, we feel say. Right? Not, you know, we are wonder if. If you say, We know the people who are doing it. We know. Goes on to state. But we are not going to go after one little person. Our strategy is to take down networks. That's very interesting. That line right there, so? You know what, let me finish it. So when we act, we are bringing down entire networks. Networks. So now we hear, right, Prime Ministers are talking about the networks that allow for the legal importation of these weapons. Just with him telling us, I never used to hear politicians that talk about customs officers being involved. Right. You know, them type of acts there. Not publicly. Right. I'm not saying it's never ever happened, as I've never heard it up until recently. Now we are here, say, them not target the local one man no more. Their strategy should take down networks. No. We could go on to another part. Hear this now. Before, the strategy was to deal on a street level just to get the man selling the gun. Which was an insane strategy, by the way. It's amazing that was the strategy they were using for what, 60 years now. That sure said them people there never had to take crime fighting seriously. Because that right there is the strategy of people who obviously don't take them jobs serious. You cannot be trying to stop guns going into a country. Right, and I'll focus on the street level. It goes on to state, No, that is not who we really want. We want to get the customs officer who is facilitating the guns coming through the ports. Very interesting. When I read the whole article, right, you can go up and observe and check it out for yourself. Listen to this part again. That's a very interesting article, you know. So my things them really stand out to me. He said, we want to get the person who is hiding the guns, keeping them in the areas where they believe the police are not going to. We want to get the policemen who are tipping people off. Very interesting. I'm going to read it for myself. These are not my words. These are the words of Prime Minister Andrew Hornless. The next part of the article said this. A lot of them believe that we don't know. We know. Because we have improved our intelligence gathering and we're going to get them. People, write these words down. Because I don't want the Prime Minister to think, say, because we're living in the age where information is so fast and everything a two day story, this will be forgotten by next week. It will not be. Just like how we don't forget this. Listen up. Well thinking Jamaicans should raise their voice in concert against the high levels of crime and against the government in not doing enough in control. You don't forget that one either. Listen to this. But we don't want to get them and don't have evidence because as you would be seeing, we are taking everyone to the courts, to the justice system. We are bringing evidence and these cases have to be airtight. They have to be strong so it takes time. End quote. Alright. Yes, after bring evidence and case have to be airtight. Remember, you could be the biggest criminal in the entire world. In the courthouse, right, a different story. Right. You need witnesses and you need, you know, evidence and all them things there. If 
they don't have that, then man walk out, as we've seen recently. Whole thing I like with this is when him say it takes time. Right? They have to be strong, so it takes time. Yes, building them kind of case, I take time, but how much time? You see, that's very vague. When somebody said it can take time, that can mean the year 2095. How long is time? How long is it will take time? Who knows? But at least them start to talk like them take this thing serious. Because one time in the year politicians start about crime, it was so vague. It's like there was a book in the House of Parliament that says, right, this is how you address the Jamaican masses. Right. And you just take out one little cookie cutter line and just throw it in front of the people. Them. We will fight crime. We will get the. And it, it sounds like what am I talking about? No one time here am I talking about customs officers, crooked squaddies, networks. At least it sounds like them start to take them work seriously. There's two ways you can do it. Right? If you're the leader of anything, you can quietly do things and say nothing. Right? For example, don't mention say, you're going to do this and then get the results and then parade it and say, see there, press conference, we catch the network, 15 people involved, this man is this, this one is this, and this one is that, and the public say, what? Them are work, man, them are work. As we see with the, with the rank again, it just come out of nowhere. That's one way of doing it. But politicians don't like that way. Because that way can appear like, say, you now nah, take the issue seriously. The public love when time leaders talk about issues. No, me only care about the results. So you don't have to promise me nothing. You don't have to tell me say I go lock up nobody and you go build a case. I don't care. Me just want to see the results. But I understand my views might not reflect right, the public. The public is in the area talk about it, then it look like say, you know, you're not business. You know, people want to hear politicians talk about issues. We tell them say politicians just talking about issues. Right, might as well them just turn YouTubers. That's what YouTubers will talk about issues. People don't vote for politicians to talk about issues. They vote for politicians to fix issues. Jamaican leaders are excellent at talking about issues. Give them on camera or mic and they will talk about issues. That's why I tell you, many of them are YouTubers. But when they talk about fixing issues, then all of a sudden you hear, but, 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 but. Then all of a sudden it's one bag of long talking and excuses and harsh they don't call fat. Then you have the other way where you can come out and this is the risky way. You see when time, you know, you know promises, then if nothing will happen, then you can't be held accountable because, well, we never promise you nothing. You see, it's like somebody, don't tell you, say them I go buy you one phone and then you get the phone as one gift out of nowhere, you're happy. But because the person never did promise you a phone, if you never did get the phone, you can't vex because they never promise you nothing. The other way is, where the Prime Minister do know. This way, right, when you come out and talk the talk, you better walk the walk using the same phone analogy. You go to somebody and say, Me see the phone, me know the phone, and may I get to the phone. If you don't deliver the phone, then people start looking at you right, as a fraud because you come make big talk and say, I will be bring phone come, right? They say, I go get phone as gift. Carry come and then where the phone day. All of a sudden you talk about but 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 are you come from his phone? I know you're on the phone for sure. But this is what the Prime Minister is doing. He might make big talk to the people of Jamaica and he might promise them phone. And if no phone no deliver, will be held accountable for these words. Political leaders must be held accountable for the things what them say. Right. If him say them know a who, not them a try if you know, them know a who. When no case no come forward, right. when we no see no network tumble and a major arrest, then the people of Jamaica, sorry let me correct that, right. the non-acidic people of Jamaica, I go start to ask the question. Then, if you know who and still can't be like yes, imagine when time you don't know who. And then the public will have even less confidence in your favorite leaders, and that right there would be an achievement for the Jamaican public. 
to have even less confidence than them have now in Jamaican leaders, in the government, in the opposition, in the justice system, in the security forces. For them to have even less, boy, that right there is an accomplishment because, let's face it, it's not very high. Anyway, Major Squad, you open yourself. Yeah, yeah, you don't know. More life. Culture Squad, see you circling. Bless.